Every year, the Royal Flying Doctor Service assists Australians in some of the most remote and rural parts of the country. This research is providing a first time analysis of just how close it is that people living in rural and remote parts of Australia are to basic health services. How far away are GPs? How far away are nurses? How far away are dental services? What is access to telehealth looking like? So we were able to look at vast quantities of data that we hold and the location of various services and put all of that onto a map that really ultimately showed us that some of the people living in remote parts of Australia are getting much less access to healthcare services than their metropolitan counterparts and are suffering much poorer health outcomes as a result. This report found that 42,000 remote and very remote Australians had no access to any health care. Many of these communities have high rates of chronic disease coupled with higher socioeconomic disadvantage. So those with the highest need essentially have the lowest care. So the barriers to healthcare in remote and very remote Australia are the distances to access current services, the affordability and culturally appropriate primary healthcare services. This report for the first time identifies gaps in current service provision that will allow us to engage with community members to essentially fill these gaps and ensure it's community led based on community needs. People in rural and remote parts of Australia don't have the same access to our parliaments, they don't have the same access to the public discourse and the media that other parts of Australia have. So we're really hoping that this report and this data can go a long way to giving voice to those concerns and will lead to fundamental change. I think all Australians expect basic access to primary healthcare services, whether it's coming from a nurse or a GP or a dentist or coming via telemedicine. We know that people in rural and remote Australia die earlier because they have poorer access to health services, but we've never really determined as a country the sorts of services that we're going to guarantee to be available to the people who are mining our minerals, farming our food and our fibre and tending our traditional lands. 